Mark Chichurela first day at Chelsea. We know very well that he was signed yesterday on a record fee to make him the most expensive left back in the world. <laughs> that is a man who goes by Chichurela. 55 million pounds guaranteed fees plus 7 million pounds of add-ons telling that amount of money was bought to 62 million pounds welcome to rockan media football how are you guys and where are you watching us from i go by the names of rockan david in the for you but guys premier league is really heating up and i'll speak right about now liverpool is trailing behind with Fulham leading them by one goal to nil in the for you. Doe Nunes is on, but let's wait and see how this game is really going to go in the for you. Going to come here after the game has ended, and we come here and really let you know what this game is all about in here onto the Rokani Media Football in the for you. Smash the like button, comment, and share. If at all you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that you do upload in here on a daily. Now, Chuchurella was revealed yesterday at Chelsea and let's take it straight into his first day at the side which goes by names of Chelsea in there for you. So, Kukurela's first day at Chelsea and this is the gallery and what really happened at Chelsea in there for you. So, let's get, that's how he was in the dressing room, tweaking a feel of what we call where they really dress from at Cobham. Remember, he has not yet gone to a side which goes by the names of of Stamford Bridge, not yet. He has not yet gone that side. He's really a very good player, and he was at Cobham, where these people really do conduct their training sessions from, and that's where he was unveiled as a player of a side which goes by names of Chelsea. So that was him really taking feel of the dressing room of the training ground of Chelsea, that is Cobham in the foyer. Alongside Isisa, I think this is Chaloba, who was really seated next to him and was really glancing at everything in the foyer. He was tying the laces of his shoe boot in there for you then after that Kikuela, what next then the skipper of live of, of of chelsea who goes by names of caesar spliqueta took him around the cobham arena in the for you where they train from he was really showing him this is the training ground this is blah 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 so he was really taking him to show him what the club is all about and what everything is like in there for you to go in and really take him through that is skipper aspliqueta remember aspliqueta had already agreed personal terms with barcelona but the way chelsea really did it to really turn his mind and he got hold of his cellular and called chaffy chavi the coach of barcelona told him please i'm not coming to a side which goes by names of barcelona i've been rewarded a new contract at chelsea and i'm going to sign it and this was this this was a, this was as a result of barcelona really hijacking a deal of Rafinha and Jules Conde and Chelsea say if at all they really take our captain then it will be another another unbelievable situation that we will really expect to be happening in here at Chelsea so what they did they fought hard and they will retain their captain and that is the captain or skipper of Chelsea taking Mark Chichurella around the training ground of Cobham in the for you as he was unveiled at Chelsea. Then finally, he was with the skipper, Caesar Spliqueta, taking, taking him on ground where Chelsea retrains really from, and that is a training ground of Chelsea at Cobham in there. So when you look at Chelsea, they are really a very good team, and they really signed players, and Kukuela marks the fourth signing of the season for Chelsea. And the first signing being Raheem Sterling, then Kaldi Kulibali, Chukukweka, and now finally, finally and finally, Mark Chikuela coming into a side which goes by the names of Chelsea in there for you. He plays as a left back and he can play in, a, in the central defense. Then that's where he predominantly proved to Thomas Tuchel that he's really, he can play as a back as a central defender who plays on the left side. I see Thiago Silva watching on and Jorginho trying to watch on Cruella. But he's an amazing player, obviously. I know people are really going to love him. He's an amazing player and lots of things are really going to be shown from him at the ground. And very many things are expected from him because of his quality that he really showcased at Brighton. Cruella in action, obviously, trying to train either for you, putting on that, is it the purple bib? trying to really 
tackle or get into action with that ball as it was really put into space so he's really a very talented guy and i will believe that man city missed out on a planet in the for you because he's really great <clears throat> then this is chukweka he is the first sign is the third signing of Chelsea from Aston Villa. They signed him at 20 million pounds. That is Chichuweka in the for you. And then he was really tussling it up with Jorginho. Jorginho, a man who is said to be leaving Chelsea and going to Juventus. But you're waiting to see whether he will go in the for you. But as how things are going at Chelsea, it really looks like they don't want to lose any of the player. The way they really put in effort to really remain with Caesar Spliqueta shows you that they cannot allow to, really to leave to, to lose Jorginho because Jorginho is really talented especially playing to that central midfield role and he gives a lot of confidence to Chelsea when they are really having that ball in the for he acts as a reference point to that midfield so I think they are going to fight to really have him at Chelsea. Then Kaulidi Koulibaly with the manager Thomas Tuchel. Remember Kaulidi Koulibaly was signed from Napoli at 34 million pounds. He's 31 years of age and he called he called John Terry to give to give him permission to really put on the shirt 26 because it was the shirt it was the same shirt number he was putting on at Napoli and he called John Terry because that that <coughs> that shirt of John Terry has been had been hungered in there for you and no one had been wearing it ever since he really left so he comes in and was given permission to really put on that shirt number 26 Kaliudi Kulibali on the field of play in there for you this is Garaga and Ben Chilwell trying to go toe to toe remember Garaga was at Crystal Palace last season and really had a very good spell, a long spell at Crystal Palace. And right about now, he is with Chelsea and we are expecting them to come out and really do the needful in here onto the Rokani Media Football. But Chilwell too really is an injury-prone player. He suffered a very big injury and he's now returned. But on his return, they've brought in another player in the names of Chichurella to really compete with him as the left fullback of a team which goes by the names of Chelsea. But yesterday, a team where Garaga was playing at, a team which goes by the names of Arsenal, really suffered a loss. Sorry, it was Crystal Palace, suffered a beating from a side which goes by the names of Arsenal. They are beaten two goals to nil. So, his absentia might have contributed a lot, and you really saw it that he was really missing these players. He, Crystal Palace was missing Garag, according to me, according to how things were going on down there. And I said, which goes by the names of Fulham. Sorry, Sehal Spark in there for you. So that is Marco Curella and his first day in training. And I said, which goes by the names of Chelsea. And that's how everything really went in through. If at all you never knew, Kukuela. Kukuela's deal was hijacked by Chelsea after Man City could admit the realistic valuation of a team which goes by names of Brighton. Brighton wanted £60 million and Chelsea, sorry, and Man City could stretch up to only and only £40 million and they said, no, you are not taking this player. Then Chelsea came and hijacked the deal amid these people saying that Chelsea were really overcharged. But in my usual life, if I want something, I want it. Even if I'm overcharged, but my satisfaction is fulfilled. So, so long as my satisfaction is fulfilled, I don't care about the price. So, that's the motto of Chelsea and Tony Boyley. So long as the satisfaction is fulfilled, he doesn't care about the price. He doesn't at all. So, that was Marco Cuellar's first day at Chelsea. Feel free to go into the comment section to me to think about the signing of Marco Cuellar. Is he going to be one who is going to hit the ground running at Chelsea? And today, you know, they are playing a team which goes by the names of Everton. And them playing a team which goes by the names of Everton really gives them or puts them to a level of really coming in and really doing the need for you. As I speak right about now, Liverpool has equalized through Darwin Nunes and assist from Mohamed Salah. It's 1-1 with Fulham, but Fulham had been leading for 64 minutes. But finally and finally, they've really... They really unlocked them through that killer pass of Mohamed Salah. And finally, Doe Nunes has really got them back to where they're supposed to be. So Liverpool is leading. Is leading. Sorry, has leveled the game. And let's wait and see. Some 26 minutes left to play. And that's what I had to put into you. I, I had to put this into this video because it was really a very good goal. Second chance. The first one was saved by the goalkeeper. 
and it looks like it's an own goal it's not a doe nunes goal either for you but all in all doe nunes put in the effort in the for you it's a very good skillful goal from doe nunes what an x in the for you using his back heel to score that goal in the back of the net but guys your reactions to marco cruella are welcome to the comment section below a sign out for now see you later